Well, you recognise him, I know, but he's definitely on view today. The top scorer in the league, and it's live. Well, this is the setting for our featured match today. Welcome to you. Martin Tyler here, along with Alan Smith. It's league football for you today. Two proper teams here, Alan. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Well, we've got a couple of teams here that their strengths are attacking, no doubt about it. So I'm sure they'll be going at each other very quickly. Thomas. Jonathan Petroipa. Very skilled. These passes may look easy, but the uh, work off the ball is very important. It's a drive of some power, but off target. Yeah, I'm lucky. Didn't quite get set for that one. For Paris FC, the system that we think they're going to go with is 4 5 1. That one striker will need a bit of support. Yeah, you do not want him to be left isolated, otherwise this formation will not work. This is the lineup for the away side. And again, we're going to see this shape up as a, a battle, individual battles really, because the formations are so similar. Yeah, they are similar, and uh, you do see this so often these days, two really popular attacking shapes, so uh, interesting how it pans out. Thomas. He might be through. An excellent chance. More than matched by the goalkeeper, who's diffused the situation. Oh, great agility, great reflexes there, and uh, denying the opposition any knockdowns as well. Put the corner in the middle. And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. That's relieved some of the pressure as the defender clears his lines out of play. Here's the chance to get in the cross. Moving it nicely and productively here. He has cleared it well. Home record has been excellent, the best in the division. The away record for the visitors has been very, very bad. And uh, they'll find it hard, I think, to improve on that in this match. Well, the way they've been creating and taking their chances, the home team, I can only see one winner. One to chase down. It's gone over the defenders. And the referee looks to his assistant, who's got the flag up. It's offside. There's been a goal elsewhere. Alan McAnally's got news of that. It's a goal for Dijon. 24 minutes played. 1-0. Cheers, Alan. Want to keep possession. That's the way they play, but they're not doing it. The big news has all been about him in the lead-up to the game. He has said he will definitely retire, Alan, at the end of the season. Yeah, it would have been a big week. Maybe he will be feeling a little emotional today with the finishing line in sight, and he will be missed at this football club. Thomas. Bamba. To Thomas. Strange game at the moment. The attacking team having all the ball, but not really making many chances because the opposition are defending in numbers. Continue to knock the ball around, looking for the opening. And that's broken up by the defender before the cross could come in. Two tough guys going for it. The hosts had more than enough of the ball today, but they have been a bit disappointing so far in the way that they've gone about the business. I don't know if they've taken it a little bit easy. They were expecting... He can put them in front. A safe hands from the goalkeeper there. Not the most demanding save, but it had to be made. Yeah, easy though to take it a little easy. Take your eye off the ball. Throw in to come. Bamba.
This does look promising. We could be in. Well, he's better than that. It's a poor pass. Added time coming up. There will be two minutes of it. Well, we're halfway through, and we haven't yet got a goal to bring to you. Nil-nil at half-time. They have had a catalogue of chances. It's the start now of the second half. That's an unforced error, really, with the pass. It'll be a throw. Here's Roberts. Thomas. Here they are, still probing away. Let in the shot go! It was an easy save. Diallo. Decision is a throw. It was a fair tackle. Goal news now from Sosho. It's a second goal for FC Lorient. 55 minutes played. 2 1. Thanks, Alan. Well, we'll follow that with interest. An opportunity here. There's some space to work the ball into. It is going to be a change here. And it looks like a strategic one. In goes the corner. Not really tested the goalkeeper, but sometimes it can look a bit too easy. He made sure he made the save competently. Yeah, he did, and he doesn't make too many mistakes, this lad. Bamba. And the ball pass to Lopez. And they're looking good when they get the ball out wide, as they've done here. Chance to work it from the flanks. Whipped in from the wide area. Well, sometimes you just have to clear it like that. Safety first. He wants to pull it back here. And it's a shot now! Keeper controls it. Never looked like bouncing off him. Yeah, it made it look easy, but his positioning did that for him. Goal news from Chateauroux. It's a third goal for Cannes. 65 minutes played. 3-0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McInally. Thanks, Alan. Teammates getting out of the way because they know he can dribble it here. Gives it away straight to the opposition. Substitution that the home side want to make. That's cut out. Lopez. Well, that is a cheap piece of play to give the ball away like that. He's given possession away here. Oh, this crowd demanding a response from the players. Players that they expected to be in the lead now. The target, the players in the centre. Good, clean tackle. Diallo. Trying the possession game unsuccessfully at the moment. to go in front Bound back off the post richly deserved opening goal a match that looked as though it might end frustratingly for them but they have been the better side throughout and now they've got what they really have pushed for throughout right from the first whistle they've been the side that has attacked that wanted to win the game and they should go on and win it from here well they've got to concentrate now get their focus back on as the game restarts, but they are leading. And you can see the smiles on their faces. Well, it's been tight before that goal, but now the manager, he's so pleased because I reckon he feels his team can go on and win this. Well, this is one way of protecting the lead, really. That's what the manager thinks anyway, making this 
tactical change. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. We've got eight more minutes of the 90. Diallo. Now he's got the ball. What's he going to do with it? Test of his control now. It's going to go right to the wire here with this one goal lead. And the supporters, well, they've upped their game. There's no question about that. Just listen to them. Yeah, they've been brilliant. But it's been a close game. And you wouldn't put it past the visitors to, to nick a goal back. You can see what he was trying to do with the cross, but it's a goal kick. And this is going to be a change here for the team that is leading. And it's clearly a tactical one to try and cement that winning position. Just one minute left on the clock. He heads it out of play and it will be a throw in. Well, it looks simple, but this lad has got a great instinct of drifting into space, being in the right place at the right time. And that's a goal well worth analysing again. Restarting at 2-0. And there it is, it is over. Great day for them. And welcome on a rainy night. The heavens opened earlier and it just hasn't relented. I'm Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Lee Dixon. And we've got pulsating league action coming up for you. It's Orléans and they face Paris FC. Well, thank you, Derek. Glorious atmosphere here. Really looking forward to it. The fans are too. The players look like they're up for it. This could be end to end. We could get goals today, Derek. The possession lost, intercepted. This is the lineup for the home team. An element of caution about this selection. Yeah, 4 5 1, Derek. The five players behind the lone striker will need to support him. Looks very strong midfield offensively and also defensively. And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. So, for a look at the table, and I think it's fair to say it's something of a surprise to see Mets in the position they're currently in. Their fans were expecting something a lot better. Well, with not much of this season left, the critical eyes of the media scrutinising every performance. They fell well below the standard they set over the last few years. They really have. Time to step up to the plate. Throw-ins given. As an attacking player, you rather hope you'll get the decision in your favour, but offside here. Yeah, the defence got that spot on, and so did the linesman. I 
understand there's been a goal in the Mets game. Alan McAnally has the details. It's a goal for Mets. 13 minutes played, 1 0. Thanks, Alan. Monduki, Petroipa, Thomas. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. Working brilliantly as a team to force the clearance. It will be a throw. And very deftly cut out. It is to be a throw in. Monduki. Thomas. Here's Petroipa now. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Petroipa. Spot on with that tackle. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Thomas. Nomen Janahari. And what more in possession? Well, they stopped them in their tracks. And the defender finding a solution to the problem. So a throw in here. Crossing opportunity. Petroipa. And that was a very fine read. Read it superbly to take back possession. Bamba. Nomen Janahari. Strength and control, a big part of his game. Now, can he deliver accurately? Monduki. Thomas. Looks promising this. Can't miss, surely. Goalkeeping of the very highest order. Oh, it was a great shot as well. Great shot, great save. Over it comes. A really disappointing effort, you've got to say. Well, he's way, way off target. A real poor effort with his head. Well, Derek, just look at those stats. Not created enough chances. They really haven't. They need to up the tempo, put the pressure on. Then they should win this game. A sloppy pass. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Monduki. Petroipa. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. He was one of the better players in the first half, but... Teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Martin. Petroipa. Monduki. Here's Petroipa now. Thomas. Options in the centre. And that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick. Given away. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. A highly purposeful attack, this. The emphasis on getting the ball forward.
I think everyone knew that was foul play. And the referee left with little choice but to award the free kick. That will certainly mean a booking here. And now he's on a tightrope. Such a waste of a free kick when you miss as wildly as that. Well, there's groans from the fans as well. They didn't appreciate that long-range shot for sure. Nothing wrong with that idea. It comes to absolutely nothing. Excellent defending. And news of a goal in the Mets match. Alan McAnally can tell us more. It's a third goal for Mets. 60 minutes played, 3-0. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Monduki. Fluency of movement. Are they going to forge ahead? First goal of the match, and the lead certainly doesn't flatter them. It's taken a while, but the pressure has taken its toll. Let's have a look at that again. The keeper thinks he's done enough, but he hasn't. It's just gone past him. He does get a touch on it, though. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. 1-0 then. And hearing that there's been a goal in the Lorient match, Alan McAnally has the details. It's a goal for FC Lorient. 67 minutes played. 1-0. Many thanks, Alan. Thomas and well, the attacking options appear plentiful is it going to be oh he's found the net and that increases the advantage to two just what they wanted and just what they deserve well as we can see the keeper's done his best but there's nothing he can do from there he's not going to miss that one a chance to revisit the goal Well, no wonder he's delighted. They've been bossing this game up to now. It's going their way. 2-0. It is a decent-looking attack here. Well, thumped clear. An attack full of promise. Well, they have the ball once more. The visitors' possession stats are brilliant. If you don't control the ball in midfield, it's very difficult to have enough of the ball to create chances for your strikers. And really has been a dominant performance. And I believe there's been a goal in the Grenoble match. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a goal for the visitors. 77 minutes played. 1-1. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Thomas. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. It looks promising. It might be on for them. And he takes it on. Whatever it takes to keep them out. Being pressed hard. Poor pass under no real pressure. Turning inside. Where's he going to go? No problems grabbing hold of that one. Martin. Might be able to produce from this position. Martin. Now he must favour the cross. Real danger. 
And just the one minute left in normal time here. Lopez. And the referee's whistle, that is the end of the story.